everybody, Manic Moore's on here, and I am deciding to make a axe head today for a axe prop type weapon, but technically it's not going to be a prop. It will be effective. But I found a saw blade, and so far I just cut the bottom portion out and then used the grinder to smooth it off. I used a cutting torch to cut it out, and now I'm going to cut this piece. Now, how I'm going to cut it is I'm going to cut from this point straight across to this point, and then I might do a little U-shape in it just to give it a little bit of dimension. And this whole top part will come out here, but I might use that for something else entirely. And then I have an axe head we can put this on, and this hole will serve as a way to potentially anchor it. So, yeah, making an axe head out of a construction blade. Yeah, right now it's already like a cool weapon. Yeah! Hackety slash slash. Alright, well I'm going to get to that. I'm going to go ahead and draw the line in and get it cut out with a cutting torch. And when I get that done, we'll come back and I'll smooth it up. But I'm going to spare you guys all the noise of the tools. I've got my torch lit. The oxygen isn't on yet. I've got to set my oxygen levels. There we go. So let's uh, cut this. I'll be back. It's been cut off. It's really hot. Let's cool it down. Yeah, look at that steam rise. Let's let it cool for a minute. Probably gonna end up having to retemper it because I'm pulling the temper out doing that. I could have used our cutoff wheel, but I couldn't find it. So, hey, hey, is it hot still? Oh yeah, that made that water nice and warm. But now I can grab it. All right, so I'm gonna take this ugly mugly. Yeah, I almost fell over and grind it on here, and get some shape to it and then we're gonna have a little axe head I'm probably gonna sharpen the edges of these up while I'm doing this and make it sharp so yeah all right we'll be back all right guys so I got the basic shape of the axe cut out you can still hear the grinder going off in the background I tried to sharpen the tips up on it but I ran into one small issue it's diamond tipped <laughs> so it the grinder just wasn't going through it it's like it's such a hard type of steel for cutting through concrete or whatever uh, that the grinder is not even grinding it it is just eating the grinder disc up but it's not doing anything to the actual ends and I really don't want to take the temper out of it because if the ends are that hard and the center is good and soft, that means when I smack into something, it'll flex more than it'll potentially bend or break. So I'll take that. Anyways, uh, I've got an axe handle. Uh, we will be putting this on. And when we get around to that, I will do that. Okay, guys, so I've got my axe handle out. Lighting is still terrible. I'm going to clean it up a bit. Then right here at the top portion, I'm going to put a slit down the middle of it. And we're going to put the axe head inside of it. So it'll be on here. And I know the focus is bad, but the lighting in here is f***ing terrible. Look how blurry it is. It's terrible. There, axe head. <laughs> and it's a nice hard hickory. You wouldn't even really need to put an axe in here to make it dangerous. This thing is nice and light and heavy, heavy wood. So I can just like bash the crap out of something with just this. Anyways, uh, let's get to putting a cut in it and I'll show you how I fit the axe to it after. So this is what I got so far, guys. Uh, I took some saw blades and I cut through it and I've got it in there, but there's that hole in there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through it and put a washer and a bolt on this side to add strength to it. Pull it back together and hold it up in there. 
and then maybe take some kind of twinage or cordage to wrap around it to further strengthen it up and wrap down the handle and then we'll have like a makeshift I don't know zombie battle axe it won't focus but yeah that's what we'll work on all right guys so I got a hole drilled through it and I put two I think those are inch washers with a 5 8 hole in them and a bolt it's threaded all the way across now my wood kind of split it a bit but this is where wrapping the handle really well is going to come in handy for this but I mean currently we now have a fucking nasty axe <laughs> trying to hit something with it but I'm pretty sure if I break anything with this it's gonna really tick off the guy who works in here but we'll just kind of demonstrate but I mean it's got these little blades on it so it's really meant for ripping and I don't have anything to rip through I mean I just got some big boards don't know. Can I rip through that tire? We got an engine in here. Let me hit the engine. I don't know, but I'm going to get it wrapped up. We'll finish decorating it. And we'll see where it goes from there, guys. And here you go, guys. Here's another shot of the axe. I just barely banged it into this stump and it stuck. Like, urgh, urgh, get out. Get out. But it's like I just barely went... And it's uh, stuck in there. And because of those teeth, it grabs a hold and it makes it really hard to pull it back out. Let go of my axe. Thank you. All right, we're going to wrap her up. Good morning, my manic mobsters. Or manic mob, whatever you want to call it. I have taken a few days from finishing the axe to now finishing it. Well, it's not finished. i got to paint it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. Yeah, I love those sound effects, don't we? All right. So what I have done here, and let's see if we can get in here without it blurring up. This is a type of uh, just twine that I got out of a sewing section. Uh, I think it's like a baker's twine, but if I had hemp twine, I would have used it to make it look more thing, and I wrapped down to here and down here on the handles. Now, this is an old t-shirt that I cut some strips out of, and I braided into a kind of, I guess, handle, decorative handle thing. I mean, it doesn't get in the way or anything, and so far I'm really loving this axe because I was like practice swinging it around, and it was really awesome. This morning I took the liberty to do a little touch-up work on the teeth to get it back to a kind of sharp at the edge of each teeth. And uh, as far as the twine goes, I've tucked it away and wrapped it in such a way that you don't see any tie-off ends. And the way I got this old style look to it is, is I would wrap like three wraps, move up an inch, wrap three wraps, move up an inch, wrap three wraps, move up an inch, and do that all the way up. And then I would wrap around the top a few times and then go back down and go over my wraps again a couple of times to kind of make it bulge out. And then I, would, I went all the way down the thing just randomly up and down on it, giving this uh, like rough textured look to it. Now, as I was doing it, there would be areas where I'd leave it kind of loose, but not like hanging loose. And then areas where I would pull the tine as nearly as tight as I could before it broke. And, you know, so it would hold on firm and not slide. And then I ended up just tying it off and tucking it in behind here with a nail. So where I tied it off at, I took a nail and tucked the little end off so you can't see it. And I did the same thing for this side. Then I added this to it, and we'll pick it up. And here at the bottom, the way it's tied off is with the ends, I just kept tying them off to each other. So I wrapped 
two around, tied a knot, wrapped the other two around each other, tied not, tied a knot, and I just kept going around till it kind of did that. And then I just kind of covered it all up here and tucked it off so it kind of covers up the knot. Now you might see that suspicious <laughs> bulge right here because underneath this I actually put a bit of like a ace bandage for grip and it's not focusing so it's not really grip it's just to give it a little more give when you're holding on to it but really it's lightweight it swings really well but the last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna shoot some paint on it and for paint got my painters tape to mask it off black and some kind of fake chrome and some cheap ass rattle cans so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a masking pattern on it just to protect the cloth so it, it doesn't get paint on the twine wrapping and then I'm gonna shoot paint onto the blade uh, I'm gonna kinda mix it up and spatter it up between chrome and black to get kind of a like a chromish finish to it well you'll see what I'm going for and then I'll explain it but basically I'm gonna spray it with chrome then I'm gonna spray black over it and then once that dries I'm gonna like mist chrome over sections of the black so it kinda gives this like metal look coming through and this grungy look to it. If I had some brown, I'd throw some brown in there to give it a kind of a rusty look, but I, I don't have any brown, so I'm gonna kinda have to make a wear and tear kind of look with uh, with uh, rattle cans of silver and black. Now, I thought about leaving it as is, and I mean, it looks good like it does right now. It kinda has that very put together feel to it. But I want to kind of clean it up because this is kind of like my zombie Viking axe. This is kind of like a For Honor slash, uh, not Daisy, but uh, Dead Island kind of, kind of shout out for it. Yes, <laughs> I really like those games, and it's also kind of like a shout out to Mister Zed Not Alpha because he makes really cool weapons like this. And I thought, heck, I would give it a try, but base it off of kind of like video games. So, for Honor, I really like the Viking with his tackle and his axe, and he's, like, really badass. And I like the Dead Island series, and he slaps together these crazy weapons in Dead Island. So, why not combine the two and make a zombie axe out of a saw blade and give it kind of a Viking feel to it? So, that's what I went for. So let's get to painting it and less talking and we'll go from there. All right guys, so I've got it wrapped off. Uh, just stuck some blue tape over it to protect it. So now for some paint. And since I don't have my tripod, I won't show that process because it's just painting. I might just leave it all black. I might throw some silver in there I don't know, I've been, while I was taping it, I'm, I'm just going to kind of see how it turns out and then I'll explain it. So, I'm going to take it out into our shop area and get it painted up. It's kind of dark out in there, so the lighting's terrible anyways. So, I'll get that taken care of, and when it dries and everything, we'll be back. Okay, guys, uh, the axe head is still drying. I'll show you what happened with that afterwards. Something really interesting happened, so I went with it. But I wanted to show you this. This is a, a rag with some oil on it. I just kind of dabbed it in an old oil pan we had and then rubbed some of it off. And then I'm just taking it and rub, rubbing it down the handle like this. And you can see it's kind of just getting on the surface there and making the handle look kind of worn and old. So I'm kind of just going to do this and dab it all over I didn't have my washes, so I do have washes to add this effect, but since I didn't have a wash, old oil plus cloth equals effect, uh, worn effect. So I'm going to finish this up, and then once the axe head has a full time to dry, I'll do a full preview of the axe. Now, 
the way this axe feels is super awesome like the way it swings and stuff so i'm probably gonna find some crap to smash because it's awesome anyways guys uh we'll be back after i finish this all right guys so here it is spray painted we'll move in on it and as you can see it's got like a diamond texture to it uh what i did was is i just took a paper towel and dabbed on it to kind of give it that texture look and weird thing was is when i started spraying the black on it it created kind of like an odd separation to give it this kind of old pitted look to it so i just went with it and sprayed certain areas a little blacker than i did others after putting the chrome down on it and that achieved that look now you can see where i've put oil on there it's kind of rubbing off on my hands a little bit but eventually the wood will just soak that up and the cloth will and it won't be a problem anymore and it won't leave my hands looking like i've been digging in my booty hole so let's smash some stuff how about it so let's see what it does oh i missed it over the head smash oh my god destruction side slam how it does on this oh yeah that puts a dent in it and she's still going strong let's see if I can hit it before it falls over which way are you gonna go which way are you gonna go damn so yeah she don't move. She's still strong. And she's quick and very light. So this has been Manic Moore's on testing out a battle axe. A kind of four honored dead island battle axe. And oh, I like what that did. Check it out, guys. It kind of wore the blade paint off that and gave it a worn look. So I like that even better now. She's a beauty. Thanks, guys. This has been Manic Morzon. Take care.